Hello and welcome to my trash room slash front entryway. Yes, I'm doing yet another room makeover. In my last video, I did a super cool mural on my spiral staircase. And today it's time to tackle the front entryway. And there's a lot of things that I have to do. So let me, let, let me just like walk you through it. Let me just like walk you through it, okay? So there's a couple of points that I really wanna hit in this room. Point number one is that I need space to put all my random crap. I find that I rush in the door. I have to go to the bathroom so badly usually. I drive a lot. I just dump all of my stuff here. I go to the bathroom to tinkle and then I forget all about my belongings. So I need some, some hooks and bits and bobs to hang up and put my random crap. Point number two is that I have no place to put my shoes and a lot of these shoes are barn shoes so they're super smelly. So when they're all in here, it just like kind of smells like barn in here, which is not ideal, but I don't want to put my barn shoes outside because I'm really afraid that spiders are going to get in them and then lay eggs in them. And then when I put my foot in there, there's going to be a hundred baby spiders crawling on my foot. So yeah, I need a place to put my shoes. Maybe I'll put a candle here for the smell. And probably one of the most important features that this room needs to have is that I need to be able to take really cute outfit photos and this backdrop this backdrop is not it, okay? It's not the vibe. Not the vibe. No. So here's just some overall before footage of this room. You know, everything from the art to the wallpaper. It's just so random and thrown together and just not not a good curation of items in this room. Oh, sorry. Did you want to come in? Okay. Before I can start any major projects, I have to remove all the furniture in here and give it a good clean so that way I have a blank slate to work on. So I'm going to take off the wallpaper now. I have gloves. I have a steamer. The steamer is essentially just going to heat up the glue so that way I can scrape off all the glue and the wallpaper. I have a bunch of towels for sopping up any water. Here's what the room is looking like so far, kind of like a naked mole rat. All right, so I went to Lowe's and I got some paint samples. So I want to keep this room kind of warm and kind of soft, like you're walking into a hug. This is what I got for the base color. Oh, I like that. Yeah, the chickens are freaking out. Chickens, what's going on? Um. My chickens are freaking out for no reason. I'm so sorry. Yep, there they go. This is what it's like living on a farm. So you're gonna bear with me, okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I like that. That's a win. I like this. Okay, I think that's good. Yeah. Okay. I think I won at life. I just picked out these colors randomly at Lowe's. So I'm getting really good at this. Here, here's the plan. Here's the plan. And here is me very dramatically and passionately explaining my big dreams for uh, a great painting that I wanted to paint on the walls. And spoiler alert, it was a total fail. Also, let's just, let's just get, let's just get some things out of the way too. I'm painting over these, the, these things, these wall dividers. I'm going to keep them and I'll take them off because I like the texture, um, but I'm just gonna paint over them. They're not original, so don't come for me, all right? I did really want to paint the door like so, 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 so badly, but I think, I just think that the wood brings in a really nice natural texture. So I've decided that I like the wood. This part of the door is not original. So if I wanted to paint it over, I wouldn't be hurting my soul. This part of the door is original to the 1800s. I will be painting this, and again, it's not original. So, so everyone out there who hates it when people paint 
fun things. I'm not painting on anything that's original 1800s to the house, so suck it. And this is the part where I question all my decisions, but it's a part of the process. It's part of the process, people. So here's what the room is looking like after painting, and it's finally looking like a real room. Wow, look at me being so confident in my horrible choices. Thoughts. I don't know. It's like when you start a painting and you're like, this is trash, but like I have to keep going because I have an artistic vision. That's how I'm feeling right now. I do have a plan B. I do have a plan B. Bro, I've decided that I hate this. All right, another day, another dollar. So I have some fun things that have come in the mail. I'm thinking for the time being, I'm just going to finish up this side of the room with like furniture, mirror and stuff like that. And then uh, when I have the emotional time and energy, I will finish up my little squiggle wall. So for the time being, I'm just going to clean and put back this old ripped and ragged carpet. This carpet actually came with the house and it does fit the color scheme. And I think it's ripped and raggedness is why I like it so much. It does, does have a lot of character and probably holds a lot of stories as well. I'm just gonna put the super ripped side underneath the table. Putting the table back in, this is actually my old crafting table. You can see all the paint splotches and just random weirdness that I've gotten on this table. Me and this table have been through many a project together, so she does hold sentimental value. And this table fits perfectly in this room. Also, I won't be cleaning or sanding this table at all. I kind of like the history that me and this table have been through together and I want to preserve that. The only problem with this table is the extended bits that hang on the sides of the table. I want to put my shoe rack underneath. I need to be able to see all of my shoes and if I have to do anything extra when grabbing or putting back my shoes, I'm not going to do it. I really like how it looks. I think it looks extra rustic and like borderline decrepit and that's exactly what I'm going for. So I'm leveling the bar as best I can and then I'm marking where I want it with a pencil. Um. Well, listen, I'm not a professional and this is not advice and I will have to live with the consequences of my actions if I put this up poorly. Um, so there, there's your PSA. Everything is fine. I, I know what I'm doing, right? I also scooched in my shoe rack underneath the table so that it fits perfectly. Okay, so now that this is like a livable working room, I'm in a pretty good spot right now. End of day. I don't know, three or four, who knows? Who, who's counting? Obviously not me. Okay, hi. It's painting day. I wanna paint these squiggle walls. I have searched all over the internet for squiggle tutorials uh, to no avail. So I'm just gonna wing it for the second time. Second time's a charm. And um, we're just gonna go with it. If it looks bad, it looks bad, it looks good. Second time's a charm, right? It's not. Second time is not charm. This also goes very badly. Um, okay, let's chat. So this is not looking how I thought it would look. So I think I'm gonna paint over it yet again, but I do have a plan C. And in the meantime, while I am mourning the loss over my squiggle, just focus on the other side of the room and perfecting that side of the room. And then I'll come back here. We're still gonna paint something cool though. We're still gonna paint something cool. So while I'm processing my failure, I decided to just, you know, channel all of that regret into properly hanging up my cowboy mirror. Yes, I just properly hung up a mirror. Becky and Kelsey, 
down on my level. And then I just hung up some photos that were originally in this room as well. I also added some hooks over the mirror, but I forgot to record that part. All right, so the other side of the room is basically done. The last thing I have to do is paint this monstrosity. This room is getting done today. I refuse to look at this room or think about this room after today. So I had to give up on my squiggle dreams and I decided to paint some stripes instead. And I have to say it turned out way better than I could have ever imagined. I also hate shopping for lighting fixtures. I just think everything on the market right now is just super ugly. So instead of adding a proper lighting fixture in here, I'm just adding this really cute nightlight that I found at a county fair. And here's the finished product. Honestly, the shoe rack is the biggest game changer. It's what makes this room the most functional and no longer am I tripping over shoes. I had to add a catch-all tray because, you know, I just leave my jewelry and hair accessories everywhere, just like every other girly in existence. I even added a candle for days where my barn shoes are extra ripe. Fun fact about me is that I collect ceramic pigs, so of course I had to add one to this room. And the hooks above the mirror were a great addition for any extra organization options, which I always need. Also, the rack that I put in with all the S hooks was a great way to store all the random stuff that I would be putting on the table. Okay, let's talk about the stripes. I think that they look very elegant and I do think they look really great as a backdrop, especially against the cow print mirror. I don't think the patterns of the cow print and the stripes are fighting each other. I think they complement each other very well. And I'm definitely not missing my squiggle fails. All right, so I guess it's time for some final thoughts. Overall, I think the room came together very nicely, and I think I left a lot of room for me to grow as well. You know, I'm a collector of tchotchkes and the art and stuff like that, so I think I left a good amount of space for myself to grow in this house as well. Also, I really didn't spend a lot of money on this room. I think the only things that I had to buy were um, the paint, um my rack back here and the shoe rack as well everything else in this room i already had in my house so yeah that was a win as well i probably spent under under a hundred dollars for this entire room i also think i really accomplished um that warm feeling that i wanted when you enter the house it feels like a very good introduction to the house and I feel like it really embodies what this house is and what this house means to me. Is it um, Arc Digest worthy? No, but is this like a realistic room makeover that's a, <coughs> that's a functional and cute room for me, the person living here? Yes. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna leave you now. Bye. Catch you in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe.